Hello YouTube, Krosama, and here I have the Mising Kaiser model kit. Now this is actually from the Good Smile Company, and they're mostly known for like the Nin uh, Nindroid, a uh, little like you know chibi figures. Um, I don't really see any other Good Smile Company model kits to my knowledge, um, but I know they're actually just kind of going into the model kit line, as a lot of other companies are. So this is actually a pretty good, you know, at least for me. It's a good introduction to this company and what they can actually bring when it comes to model kits because all I really know is Kotobukiya and Bandai um, haven't really tested anything out with uh, other companies so those are the only two companies I've actually had experience with. Now in terms of the anime, I never seen it. It came out in 2001, uh, September 25th, uh, 2001 and it was a 7 part 30 minute OVA. Um, so it ended in the same year, well not the same year, but it ended uh, one year later, so September 25th, 2020, uh, 2002. Um, never got into it, but I am going to go ahead and watch it. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can find it uh, over the weekend, or I guess over the course of the week. And I'll sit down and I'll watch everything of it. Um, I may not be able to give a very detailed kind of thought process when I actually do the review of this built kit. Um, but at least I can intelligently talk about the kit. That's kind of like what I want to get uh, get to. Um, now I don't, I haven't got into anything like Mazinger or Mazinkaiser. I think I've watched maybe one movie where he was kind of like a pirate or something like that. Like he had a cloak and I don't know, like a weird giant sword. Uh, one of my buddies showed it to me. Uh, but overall, I don't really know too much about this series. Uh, but if y'all can in the comments, definitely educate me because I would love to get into uh, you know this thing because it looks awesome. And if the model is really awesome, then I, I want to get into the anime. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at the model. Uh, well, front cover looks pretty menacing. And this is actually what caught me off guard. Um, I've only seen... I went to Osaka and Kobe over the weekend and I've only seen this particular kit once. And it was over at a 80 on soar and I went to about like maybe 15 to, it's about 15 to, to 20 solid uh, model model ship eh, model shop um, stores um, yeah and this is the only one I've seen so I went ahead and just picked it up um, now it retails uh, for four thousand five hundred and thirty seven uh, I believe I think that's I think this is actually the retail, unless I'm thinking this might be the retail. Either way, it's going to cost you about between $45 and $50. Uh, more likely online, it's going to probably go up a little bit more. And looking on this side, there's just a continuation of the actual front uh, box art. And then looking on the back, you just see kind of like a really nice little pose, uh, pretty much mimicking the front cover. And then right here at the bottom, you just see kind of like more molding, detail specs and everything, kind of like gimmicks. Uh, they kind of showing off like some of the materials, which um, the runners look really fantastic. And kind of like what the front like V chest part as well as the wings uh, look like. And then right here, you can see all the contents within the box. Uh, there is a total of 20 different runners. All right, and the first runners we're going to take a look at is runner D. Uh, you're going to get two of them. Now, this is silver, and these are pretty much going to be, uh, looks like some more for the uh, the legs. So, it uh, has a lot of great detail in them, as you can see right in there. Uh, overall, it looks really, really good and pretty promising, but I do like the... Uh, the, pretty much like the, the texture of it feels like pretty good and next is runner H uh, this is pretty much going to be for the sword as well as for the body uh, I think these parts are for the head yeah this is definitely for the head up here and then the body right here so as you can see there's a lot of great uh, opportunities for panel lining on that body uh, not as much for the head like a little bit right over here but not as much over there and then for the sword there's gonna be plenty of grooves right in there so that way you can go ahead uh, panel line to your heart's content and then next you're gonna get like this gunmetal type uh, plastic uh, this is runner E so you're gonna get two of these uh, these are pretty much gonna be for more of the those like more for the arms as well as for the legs uh, but overall it looks really good and uh, right over here you can get some nice little uh, grooves and details in there and here's runner F, which is going to be another runner of the uh, kind of like gunmetal type. And it looks like it's just going to be some inner frame parts, nothing really too crazy. It's probably going to be for the head right up in there. But overall, it does look pretty good. All right, now I'm looking at the gold. This is obviously going to be the handle uh, or the hilt for the sword. Um, these are going to be... I don't know where these gold parts go into. Uh, this is definitely for the chest right here, but I'm not too sure about these. These might be for the arms, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but overall, it has some uh, pretty good detail, and I like the way it looks. All right, next we're going to take a look at the Black Runner. So uh, even though it's kind of like maybe a little bit hard to pick up, but uh, there is some nice little grooves in here. Uh, so more likely, you're just going to panel line those uh, gray, uh, just that way I can go, go ahead and bring out all that detail. But it looks pretty good. You're going to have multiple different hands. Uh, well, actually, not really too many more. Uh, going to have some for the open hands 
Uh, these look like just fists right here, and you're gonna have some open hands right here. So uh, a slight bit variety, which isn't really too bad. Okay, and next is runner A, uh, basically gonna be for the body right here, as well as for the torso, and then parts of the leg uh, right up here. Oh, actually, these might be the forearms. If I'm, yeah, these are forearms, definitely. Uh, so definitely forearms right up here, and then you're gonna have uh, parts of the upper body as well as uh, the hips, torso kind of area. And next, you're gonna get two runners for runner C. We we'll just take a look at one real quick. Uh, so I'm trying to like get as much of the light on there as possible. I got two giant lamps behind me, and it's still not coming out uh, as as well. Um, but overall, even with the glare, you can definitely see some of these like little grooves uh, right inside there, which looks really, really good. So once again, uh, definitely panel lining these with some uh, gray or light gray, maybe even white silver. Actually, ooh, I'm going to do silver. I just thought about that. So I'm going to do silver right inside these grooves, and that's definitely going to bring that out. It's going to make it look so damn sexy. Uh, maybe even do some like, I, I want to do weathering on here. So maybe some, um, some silver chipping all around all here. Like that's... That's something I have in mind, so um, definitely let me know in the comments below if you know doing the silver uh, panel lining as well as some of the silver chipping is something you really want to see because that's something I would like to see. And here's runner G, uh, just a couple more black parts. I don't know what this goes to. This looks like it might be going to the backpack, and then this looks like it's definitely going to be to the uh, the torso connected with the hips, uh, connecting the legs and the uh, upper body right up there. All right, and here's the two giant wings. So uh, this is just pretty much a nice little uh, normal red, but nothing too crazy. Now this is where you're gonna be putting all those uh, the clear parts and then the stickers all inside here. And here's another red runner. Uh, do not know where this goes to. Uh, I know this is definitely more for the wings. Uh, this looks like it's gonna be for the head more than likely. Uh, but I think these parts could be for the backpack. I'll have to check in the manual and see exactly where, where these two parts go to. And next we have runner L, which is pretty much gonna be the clear red part. So these are obviously gonna be the jewel parts. Looks like it's gonna be for the, uh, the, chest, the chest and um, the uh, sword right there. And then you got two little smaller ones, which I'm not too sure where these two go to, but uh, definitely this one's gonna be for that front chest. Actually, I don't know where the, okay, so the, the okay, these are both probably gonna be for the swords uh, now that I'm looking at it. Uh, but it looks pretty cool, and I think they have Z. If I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to get it brought up into the light. I don't know if y'all can see it really well, but there's a Z etched into that. Uh, and then there is a Z etched into the front of this as well. So I'm trying to like bring that out as much as I can, but I'll definitely have, uh, I'll definitely bring that out uh, once I do the review. And then the last of the clear red is gonna be more of the uh, the wing part. So these are just gonna go and plug right into the wings. So you're gonna kind of look at them from this point uh, right here. This is kind of gonna be the uh, the in inside right here. And then this is what all plugs in. So there's a lot of great grooves and details, uh, but the, the, the silver stickers, which I'll show you in a minute, uh, is really gonna be able to kind of like I don't know, it might highlight a lot of these things on the inside, at least that's what I'm hoping. And then these last two runners are, are like pretty much pre-painted, so uh, this is the one for the head right here, which has a lot of great detail, and the paint looks fantastic, but cutting these nubs off, uh, you're just really gonna have to run that, uh, run a little gold marker or something over that just to kinda hide the nubs. Uh, and then this is gonna be for the chest right here, so nothing really too uh, crazy. All I did was just kinda paint these little gold parts right there, and that looks like to be about it. And you get a nice little silver sticker sheet with a couple of these little blue parts uh, with blue stickers right there. So I'm pretty sure these are actually going to go into the jewels. Uh, that's kind of like what I'm thinking. Uh, but these are all going to be wings. And I have no idea about these little smaller ones. So we'll have to take a look uh, at the manual. And this little page looks like it's just uh, kind of showing you uh, exactly where you need to put all these stickers at. But it doesn't, I don't see all of them. I just see kind of a partial. Uh, and it has like some information right down here for these runners, which I would have to check out and see exactly what that's supposed to represent. And here's a list of all the runners in the kit. All right, here is taking a look at the manual. So just kind of give you information. I wish uh, they had English in there, but hey, it kind of is what it is. Um, I guess we'll open it up like this. It kind of opens up like a, uh, like a high grade uh, manual. So just kind of give you some little like pictures of the, uh, the overall kit. And that's some craziness right here. The world of Mazen Kaiser. I have no idea. There's a Liger. That is now that is beautiful. So I'm ho I think this one's definitely coming out as a model kit. I I might have seen this already kind of like in development. Uh, but this is so cool. It says custom paint. So I guess if you put some like um, some red paint, like really dark red underneath it, or maybe even black, uh, it's gonna kind of like show like veins almost. But I really don't want to go that route. I'd rather have it like more mechanical to be honest. Uh, but this definitely looks so so sick. 
And then taking a look at the contents inside the manual, it's a very, very easy, easy enough kind of guide. Like it doesn't, it's not really complicated, or at least uh, not as complicated as I was kind of thinking. Uh, looks is almost exactly like uh, what a high grade model would look like. So this is very, very simplistic and it's not even that long, wow. So that's actually pretty interesting. So not a, not a very, very complicated model at all. And I'm, and I'm really wanting to see how tall this is gonna be uh, in total. I'm thinking it's gonna be around a master grade, oops, a master grade height, but uh, we'll have to see and then you get the front box art. So that's it guys, definitely thanks for watching. Uh, if you're excited to go ahead and see this in a review, uh, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if you have any kind of recommendations of what kind of Mazen Kaiser or uh, Mazinger, you know, animes I should watch or OVAs, let me know in the comments below as well. But I'll be trying to get this done and built by this weekend. Uh, just really, really depends on what kits are coming out uh, this weekend as well because that might uh, take priority over this. But that's it guys, definitely thanks for watching and I will see you in this review. Bye-bye.